Hi, so I hope everyone's well today. In today's video we're going to be looking at differentiating trig functions um, and this time we're going to be using the product rule. Okay, before we get going we just need to be sure that we're happy with how you differentiate the basic trig function. So sin x goes to cos x, cos x goes to minus sin x and tan x goes to sec squared x. Okay, so what if we want to differentiate something which looks like this? Um, we've got a function times a function, so we're going to use the product rule. And the product rule says that um, if you're going to differentiate something times something, then you take the first thing, leave it alone, times it by the differential of the second thing, uh, plus the second thing left alone, times by the differential of the first thing. So we just need to work out our dv by dx and du by dx, and then substitute into the formula. Okay, so the first thing's... Uh, is x squared, so u equals x squared, and therefore v will be tan 3x. We need to differentiate these, so if we differentiate uh, u equals x squared, we get du by dx equals 2x, multiply by the power, take one from the power. And then if we, mul if we differentiate this, uh, when we have tan, we go to sec squared and of the same function, and if you've watched the video on that, you'll also know then we just differentiate what's inside our function to get what goes in front of our sec squared x. So when we differentiate 3x, we get 3, so we have an extra 3 in there. I'll put a link to the video where we've gone over that in more detail, um, so you can go and see that if you need to. Um, now we just put all the bits together, so we have u x squared dv by dx, 3 sec squared 3x plus v which is tan 3x and then du by dx is 2x. So you put it all together and just do a little bit of sorting out. Okay, I do hope that's helpful. Okay, bye.